too important to leave to anyone but yourself. is our earth, our home, our life. It's a finite thing, a sphere of specific size with certain basic resources distributed around its surface. There's just so much land, so much water, so much air. Yet our very existence depends on them. As we have progressed as a people, as we have had our children, built our homes, tilled our fields, erected our factories, and driven our cars, we have taken liberally of our Earth's resources. And we've scattered our waste products, often without wisdom or restraint, without consideration of the effects on the quality of our lives or the lives of our children. We have raped our land, fouled our waters, polluted our air, and through all this we have said we are free men, and free men have the right to use resources as they choose. Now, today, we know better. Now, with so much damage done, we're learning the price of negligence. Now we know, at last, that we must stop destroying the resources on which all of life depends. We must end the destruction and restore our environment our land, and the quality of the air we breathe. Our first belated conservation effort started with the land. Now vast programs are underway to prevent further destruction and to restore what has been destroyed. And now the land has begun to come back. Next we began to learn what pollution was doing to our rivers and streams and estuaries. We demanded action. And today we're beginning to get it. Of all the threats to our environment, air pollution is the most serious and perhaps the most difficult to solve. There are ways to restore the damaged land. We can purify our drinking water. But we must breathe the air as it comes to us. And every day it comes to us more heavily burdened with harmful and sometimes dangerous pollutants. The problem is more than the stack belching smoke. That's the part we can see. And the easiest to prevent. When we decide to prevent it. A greater threat is from unseen but highly damaging pollutants that are being pumped into our air. By the burning of fuels, by manufacturing and industrial processes, and by generally disposing of the waste products of our civilization. Pollutants in the air harm our plant life. They cause deterioration of our paint and metal, stone and cement. They soil our clothing, draperies and rugs. But most important of all, air pollution is a greater hazard to our health than most people realize. It contributes to the rising incidence of many diseases, asthma, bronchitis, lung cancer, and emphysema, the fastest growing cause of death in America today. And note this, while the problem is more serious in and around the areas where the pollution originates, it doesn't stop there. Air pollution spreads quickly, moving quietly from place to place. No one is immune. Not the homemaker, not the suburban dweller, certainly not the city dweller. <laughs> 